Here we are folks, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be checking out Two Time and Towers. And for those of you who know exactly who this game is, where, the, where this game is from, it's from the GMTK Game Jam 2020, and I wanted to play the post-game jam version. We played it during the stream, and I had a lot of fun doing it. It's, it, I'm sorry, it's taking me so long to get, uh, <laughs> to, to catch up on all of the games that I did during that game jam, and, um... Just play them all. Like, that was, like, what I was trying to do. But, like, it's it's taken a long time. And I may not get to all of them, to be honest. To be perfectly honest with you. But I really wanted to try two Time and Towers because I told the devs I would. And they've been really, really nice about, like, everything that I've been trying to do to get, like, a video on it done. But personally, since I have a full-time job, it's really hard to get by and get all these games done. But this game is a lot of fun. It's super chaotic and fun to play. And I'm, I'm going to show you a couple of waves. I'm going to show you the very first wave and how you set up how you set up your towers... Because as you, as you can see, I'm killing these guys off, and I'm picking up different colored nuts and bolts, right? And you'll also notice over to the right that I'm starting to get, like, the ability to summon some of these other ones. Or they'll say stuff like 27 out of 20, 25 out of 40, 55 out of 60. Like, these right here, you have to get those those certain nuts and bolts. That, like, I need 20 of these yellow ones in order to summon a yellow turret. And the cool part about this game, right... The cool part about two time and towers is that the towers can actually hurt you. So these bullets that these guys are throwing out, yeah, they can hurt me. What what else is really cool? I'll tell you what else is really cool. You can also push the monsters in the way. So you can also push the robots into the bullets. So you can make sure that they get hit. And you can like mess with them and be like, oh no, 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 you're going against you're you're going this way. And then just like mess with them, which is really cool. Uh playing like I don't play a whole lot of tower defense games, but Two Time and Towers really hits the like really hits the note for me. Like I'm I'm super happy about it. Like I really 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 like this game. I I don't since it's like there's no way to beat the game. Like I'm pretty sure there's like no way to beat this game. What I can tell you, what I can tell you, is that. Oh, hold on. You know, wait. Where's this thing? Oh, right. There we go. What I can tell you is that I'm on the itch.io page and I'm, I'm checking out, I'm playing it from here. And it is Zachary Richman that made this game. I think it's a couple other people that also helped to develop the game, at least for the game jam. Um, so for the most part, like this dude has done a great, fantastic job. And I did see recently on Twitter uh, more, like more blueprints, if you will, for robots. And I'm kind of excited to see more robots and see what else they would do. Maybe some like kamikaze ones or like ones that specifically like to take on your take on your towers or what if there's one that like makes the one that's really fast that has like a shovel in the front and he pushes the other robots like further and faster down the line because he's really fast like i think that would be kind of cool i don't know how that would work though i'm gonna be honest i don't know how that would work at all oh this is this is where it gets complicated because i'm trying to push these I'm trying to push the robots back into the bullets so they all get hit. And I already missed a bunch of the nuts and bolts when I was trying to figure out how to show you guys the page. All right, we got another quad shot. I love the octo shots. I really do. I'm going to leave one here as well because the octo shots shoot up, down, left, right, and then corner, 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 corner. So they're going to shoot right down this path here. And sometimes the monster, sometimes the robots will go up this path and then they'll uh, get past and then come down here. This is the other good. This is another good choke point right here. I like to put uh, one here and one of these guys here, because then there's two bullets in this row and then this row that can hit monsters or hit um, hit the robots. And I'll put that right there. Let's begin. It's okay. I'll take that hit. Here we go. Wow, I wasn't expecting to get that last hit. Actually, <laughs> there we go. Yes. All right. Well, wait a second. Let's grab this heart. Loving it. Loving it. Oh. Okay, that guy at the top. We're, we're, at, we're at pretty good health right now, so I, I'm okay with taking a couple of hits, especially because there's a lot of hearts in the rubble over here. Oh, God. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Yes. Oh, what a good run. What a good run so far. 16. All right. Woo. Okay, so I'm pretty healthy for six for level for wave 16. I'm pretty pretty healthy. I know that there's like a big blue squad coming up soon, so hopefully I can get my health back and we can start talking a little bit more. I'm probably going to skip to this part halfway through the video, maybe like two minutes in, because there's a little bit of explaining to do in the very beginning. But other than that, mm, no, not really. It's a tower defense game. You guys should play it though, because there is a section at the end that allows you to, if you're playing in the browser, to like put yours 
up so everybody else can see, like, your score up. So everybody else can see, like, what you got. And you can, you know, you know, compare it to everybody else's, which is pretty cool. This isn't, like, a strong wave. Uh, there we go. Yeah, wave's over. All right, thank goodness. All right. Oh, my God, I hate this. I wish, I almost wish that there was a, a button, an ability, or, like, a, a, a something. A something or other that you could push... So that you can clear the bullets at the very end so you can collect everything without having to worry about getting hit. I'm going to break both of those and make another blockade right here. And start it up. Level 17, baby. Let's do it. Okay. Yep. Here's the blue squad. So the blue squad is really nice because they're fast and they really hug to each other. So it's really easy for you to come in and like grab the stuff behind them because you can use them as a wall to protect you from bullets. Or you can just fuck them up like I'm doing. Wow, okay. I'm really messing them up. And I'm also messing myself up. Oh, these guys are stuck. Alright, there you go. Well, the big... I'll put this right here so I have somewhere to stand. I don't want to get hit. Oh no, the big red guys! Oh, is it going to be enough? Is it going to be enough? Oh, look at all those hearts up there. Oh my god, look at all those hearts up there. Yes, I'm going to run for it. I'm going to run for it. All those hearts? Gimme, 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 gimme. Wow, we are so healthy. We are so healthy for wave 18. This is nuts. This is crazy. All right, let's do that. I'm going to put another red one here. Uh, again, I don't really... I have two here for spinners, but I don't really like the spinners. They don't... They're too random. I don't know. They're too random. All right, let's start it up. There we go. I think I should have put all the red guys up in the left quadrant. Because then they can just shoot straight down at the the monsters. The only problem is that if I choose, this is my this is my sitting spot. I like to sit here while trying to wait for everything to happen, and I usually use this rock to protect myself. Um, and mostly, I just sit here and wait. <laughs> like because obviously, it's a tower defense game. You just gonna sit here and wait. But you know, th this is my strat. This is my strat. Make the make the big line of blue guys in the middle. This little cluster of yellow dudes that is usually bigger. I don't really use the spinners. And then this one blue guy in the front, and then this other cluster of yellow guys down at the bottom. Um, hopefully, they'll take these guys out before they die. I'm getting nervous, and I shouldn't even move. I should just trust. I should just trust. I did. I trusted. Look at that. Yes. The If the robots go around here, they'll get hit by this guy's, like, wide range of attack. Another yellow we can slap here. And then let's do it. Let's do it up. Boy, I'm just trying not to get hit by anything. That is, like, the hardest thing. Oh! I do love that all the materials are super magnetic to you, so that your character is a, is a very big magnet. Like, if you stay pretty close to the stuff you want to pick up, you'll just pick it up. Like, it'll just suction into your character. Oh, no. I'm gonna need to make another blockade. I already can feel it. Just trying not to die. Oh, this is tough. No! Ah! I technically made it to wave 23. Now I'm the king of the swingers. Oh, the jungle VIP. I've reached the top and had to stop, and that's what's bothering me.